Welcome back, everyone, to the Bourbon Judge. It's been it's been a while. Um, hope everyone's doing well. The weather's changing, at least up here in the Northeast. Some of the leaves are falling, and it's starting to get a little cooler in the air, which is nice. Hence, a little fleece here. Um, but again, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, so today we're going to go back to some Buffalo Trace products, right? So we're going to go back to good old Blanton. So a ton of history about Blanton's as I kind of undo this from the bag, take it out from the bag. So Blanton's is a great history. So first and foremost, this is made by Buffalo Trace now. Um, Blanton's has been made uh, in Warehouse H at the Buffalo Trace Distillery um, for quite some time now, which, which is great. Uh, the story about Colonel Blanton is that you know, he's born in 1881 came up in a bourbon family and uh you know this was actually made as the first single barrel bourbon uh at least known as the first single barrel bourbon um and also made by uh, a good friend of his made by elmer t lee so again made by buffalo trace in warehouse h where it's still made today they make a bunch of different types but the primary type that you can get in the u.s is the traditional single barrel they make a uh special reserve which has like a green label they make a gold edition, um, which has a little gold top, uh, the little horse and the little jockey on the top, as in being in gold. And they also make, um, uh, I think one other type as well, but they're all made, those are all made in the U.S., but they're all sold internationally. So again, the only one that you can get in the U.S. is the traditional single barrel. From a price point standpoint, you can typically buy Blanton's, well, here's the thing, you should be able to buy it for anywhere from like 55 the $65. That's the normal everyday price, right? But unfortunately, in this day and age, with everyone going a little bit crazy about bourbon and liquor stores having the ability in some states, not all, to uh, overprice things, you find it anywhere from like sometimes 100 150 and that's just crazy. Um, I would say anywhere from 55 to 65 is a reasonable price. Um, don't buy it for any more. Um, if you can find it for less, go for it. So let's kind of go ahead and uh, take off the wax here real quick. So couple other things I'll say about uh, about um, Blanton's is, so people actually collect the tops. So if you take a look at the top, let me just kind of undo this. People collect these tops. So if you look right, this is gonna be hard to see, but right there is a small little letter. I have the letter L. My last bottle had the S <clears throat> that I just wrapped up. Um, so this is the letter L. So people collect these, they make different things like you know different you know different things out of them and um it's a really cool kind of a little story that you can uh take by collecting these and use them for decorations and so forth um but also really really nice All right so kind of going looking at the bottle here there's a quick little view of the bottle it's great when you're looking at the bottle this will tell you obviously a couple of things number one the proof so the proof 93 and this one was bottled on january 7th 2019 so just bottle this year beginning of the year let's go ahead and pour this real quick so i will say blanton's is made from mash bill number two the same mash bill as elmer t lee um of course blanton's um and then of course also one of my favorites which is rock hill farms right uh, so same mash bill, right? So same mash bill, same, you know, complexities and so forth, but they're all kind of age different number of years. So let's just go ahead and kind of take a quick view of this one. So this is a nice caramel brown, right? It's not too deep, right? Nice caramel. So from an age standpoint, it doesn't say, Blanton's they do not say the, the number of years is age, but from when I went to the, uh, to the uh, Buffalo Trace, um, distillery went on the tour they said it's about five to six years uh, on average closer to the sixth time frame let's kind of get into the nose a little bit mm. very smooth from a, a nose standpoint you smell a little bit of caramel some spice mm. a little bit of like nutmeg Very subtle hints of vanilla, cinnamon. Mm, it smells good. It smells really good, actually. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tasting. All right. Very nice. A little kick at the end there. This is a very nice, smooth bourbon, right? The um, one thing I like about Blanton's is the fact that, you know, it's very smooth. It goes down very neat. 
very um, not too sweet. You, you taste like the caramel. You taste some of the nutmeg and the cinnamon that was in the nose. That does kind of transfer through into the palate. Let's get just a little bit more. Mm. All right. So the cool thing about a single barrel bourbon is that every barrel is going to be different, right? Every barrel is going to be different. Where it's placed in the warehouse, the age, um, I mean everything, right? Same mash bill, but the aging process and the barrel process is going to be slightly different. This one is actually, even though it's only 93 proof, which is the norm, uh, it's, it's slightly a little bit more bold than the last um, bottle of Blanton's that I had. So that, that's kind of cool. I like this one because it has, you know, it's, 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 it's simple, but it's complex at the same time. It's sweet, but it's not super sweet. And it's, you know, it's a really good over, like a very, I guess you would say like an even type of a, um, of a uh, uh, taste profile. Like it's very smooth, some really good flavors, great quality. The quality in Blanton's is consistent. Even though the, the, the barrel and the, the bottle that you may have from time to time may change a little bit, but the quality, which is most important. It's probably the reason why so many people love Blanton's, right? Um, so for me, you will ask Bourbon Judge, is this a bottle that's worth collecting? Should I get the little guys on the little horse, the little jockeys, and get in the little, um, the little different le letters that spell out, by the way, it all spells out Blanton's. So obviously B all the way through S, so I have an L. My last one, as I said before, was an S. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth adding to the collection? You know, enjoying, uh, I always prefer neat, but if you need it over, over rocks, over ice, that's for you. So the judgment is in. I have to give you a very fair, honest answer. Yes, Blanton's is worth the buy. It's a very, very good quality bourbon. Uh, as I said, from bottle to bottle, it's gonna change the profile, taste profile a little bit, but it's absolutely worth buying. Um, I think it's worth the 55 to $65 uh, range. I would even maybe go up to like, maybe like 75 or 80. If you're finding it locally and you can only find it for like $150, $200, please do not buy that. Um, you know, I mean, bourbon is good. This is a really good bourbon, but I wouldn't pay two hundred dollars for it. Um, but sixty-five, seventy dollars, absolutely, totally worth it, uh, folks. Um, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for uh, watching today's video, and uh, we'll talk soon.